Welcome future Seahawks. I'm Mr. Young and I'm the principal here at Serrano and I want to give you a great big warm welcome to Serrano. The next two years are going to be fantastic and we can't wait to have you here. But before we do that, we need to start with right where you're at this elective registration card or this elective form. We need you to select your elective so that we can get you scheduled into your classes before next year. So I wanna give you a few particulars about our elective card. And that is first and foremost, our STEAM program or our STEAM village. I want you to know that there are limited spaces available in our STEAM program. So if you really want STEAM, make sure that you select STEAM as your first choice to give you the best chance to get a spot in our STEAM village. You also need to know that our STEAM Village requires a two-year commitment. So that means your elective for the next two years will be the STEAM elective or STEAM electives. And the STEAM electives, there are three. We have three different trimester-based electives each year, digital media arts, computer science, and engineering. And you will take introductory courses seventh grade and more advanced courses of those electives in your eighth grade year. And also, I want you to know that if you would like to be part of STEAM Village, you do have to fill out an application. It is required, and it is also part of this form. So look for that and make sure you fill that out if you're interested in the STEAM Village. Next up, I want to talk about zero period. We have a zero period option for seventh grade this year, and that is a period that starts before the regular school day and that's at 7.15 each morning. So if you would like to take two electives, let's say you would like to take STEAM Village and another elective such as ASB or BAND, you can elect for a zero period. Zero period, like I said, starts at 7.15 in the morning. That's 7.15 a.m. Uh, every day, all year long. So if you want a zero period, you are committing to that zero period time all year long. And we do ask for a commitment because once you select that class, if we fill it up, we need to keep that class full all year long. So make sure you're ready for that commitment if you want a zero period. And the last thing about zero period, there are no guarantees that we will be able to have zero period. It will all depend on our schedule and also the demand. So if you want it, that's where we start. So with that, I want you to look at the, the rest of the selective form, make sure you read all the course descriptions, look at the videos or remember the videos that you saw while you were here at Serrano and make a great choice for your elective for next year. Now I'm gonna turn it over to our counselors to tell you more about this elective form. I look forward to seeing you soon.